After a slight delay, Genshin Impact's 2.7 update is finally arriving. Yelan and Zhao will have raid up banners during the first half, and Ito will be on the second half. How's it going everyone? This is Kay. I'll break down all the characters' strengths and weaknesses, how to use them in battle, and give you my perspective on who you should pull for. So starting with Yelan, since she's not officially out yet, we can only craft theories on how good she is. From the leaked beta testing and her abilities, you're going to rely on her elemental burst for consistently applying Hydro. Now unfortunately, she is being compared to a C6 Xingqiu, one of the best characters in the game, so until we really test her abilities, a lot of players will hold back on pulling for her right away, so something you should consider. Yelan is a sub DPS unit that scales with her HP. How you will use her in a rotation is to bring her out after 5 seconds so she'll have her breakthrough ability, use a charge shot, activate her burst, then use her skill to mark enemies with lifeline and cause an explosion, which will also trigger her burst auto attack. Then, if her breakthrough state resets from her E skill, use a quick charge shot and then switch out. Yelan's main contribution in team is her burst, so ER is very important. If you can't use her Q consistently in battle, then she won't really offer too much. You'll still build her with crit stats, only exception is HP sands and HP substats. Overall, she's going to be a very reliable Hydro enabler, and that'll be her purpose in the game. Some people say Hydro is the worst element in the game? I mean, either I'm crazy or they're smoking something, but I think vape and freeze reactions are amazing and electro charges fun to use. Obviously, I would consider pyro the best element, but hydro is far from the worst, but if you truly believe this, absolutely don't summon her then since her role is hydro application. Until we all fully playtest Yelan in battle, the biggest reason why you should hold off at least temporarily in pulling her is Xingqiu, which is, I understand, an unfair comparison, but it needs to be brought up since Primo Gems are limited if you don't spend money, and he's very similar in terms of Hydro application, but he also offers a bit more utility, such as healing and slight shielding, while Yelan focuses more so on damage buffing, especially from her passives. Next 5 star is Zhao, who is a DPS monster monster who's also very easy to use uses e skills then burst and start jumping like crazy now there are three plunge damages high plunge which is highly recommended basically higher jump higher damage and low plunge lower jump and lower damage the third is collision damage which is an extra hit while in midair not including the plunge damage that he's going to do against bosses or single enemies use the jet combo which is basically one normal then charge attack which leads into a jump cancel and then plunge but honestly this game isn't hard so just use all jump attacks and plunge all the way and that's perfectly fine, which is recommended actually to wipe out mobs. Zhao is also easy to farm since artifacts aren't as demanding as compared to Ito. Yes, Zhao does have his new artifact set, does amazingly, but it's not really necessary and you can make do with 2-piece attack and 2-piece anima. You're going to use him specifically for his burst plunge attacks which gives him amazing mobility and you can actually avoid some enemy attacks since he's jumping all over the place. Biggest weakness however is his fragile state especially while in burst mode. Yes, you can avoid damage but his continuous loss of health and if he gets knocked down that's a lot of damage so it's important to have a healer or a shielder on your team. Also, unless you're building a physical DPS Zhao, his ER is also very important, but unless you're blessed by the RNG gods, having attack percentage, crit rates, crit damage, and ER is very freaking difficult. You would typically prioritize crit and attack stats first, so you will need to bring a second animal character for energy. Above all else, his weapon requirements is pretty demanding and not really free to play friendly. There are some great 4 star spears, but even that requires luck and not worth throwing all away your primo gems for, especially for something that isn't guaranteed. Of course, you can get the black cliff spear or black cliff uh, polearm, but that requires spending resources for the shop and deathmatch is battle pass. It is good, but requires you to spend spend money. Now for best bro Oni, Ito is somewhat similar to Zhao, more specifically they both rely on entering their burst state to deal high damage. Obviously they are also very different, but fundamentally the goal in using them is similar. First off, Ito is a tank thanks to the recommended high defense build since he scales off defense, but keep in mind when in his burst state he does lose 20% resistance. He also has good stagger resistance during charge attacks and will allow you to beat the shit out of enemies without interruptions, but that damn bull he throws hits like a train. You should be able to use the bull twice while in his burst state, 
So adding two bullet attacks and all his charge hits means you're dealing an insane amount of damage. You also have good stamina management since his charge won't really use it and he's pretty fun to use honestly. Now some problems when using Ito is that you'll have to micromanage his stacks sometimes which isn't hard but it can be a little annoying. Good thing is his bow does help with stacks so it's easy to gain full super strength stacks before his burst but if you're like a reckless player who just wants to use their monkey brain and whack enemies without much preparation or thought then Ito is like I said a little annoying especially if you're using a serpent spine claymore and the husk artifacts which also takes preparation. Again, not hard, but just needs a little management. Now, unlike Zhao, Ito has amazing free-to-play weapon to choose, which is basically the white blind, and you can actually max refine this, allowing you to save your money and primo gems. But artifacts is a little bit more demanding since you really want to have the husk artifacts. Again, Zhao does have his own artifacts now, but two-piece attack, which is easily obtainable, especially if you played since the beginning, and to be very decent is still very solid. For you to really unleash Ito's fullest potential, you need to farm the husk, which also gives you a shit ton of unwanted ocean hues. So he's not really good for resin efficiency. Now, if you're one of the lucky players out there, then this doesn't really matter to you. But for me, over one freaking month of straight farming and I still have shit artifacts for him. And I mean really, really shitty substat artifacts. Now, of course, if I talk about Ito, we have to mention Goro and other Geo characters like Albedo or Zhongli. If you have them, Ito really shines in battle. It's typically best to have three Geo characters to fully leverage Goro's support and, of course, to help with Ito's energy recharge, which, like Zhao, can be a problem if it's inconsistent. So, out of the three characters, who should you pull for? I would say wait a couple days before pulling Yelan just so we can play tester. This could be a similar situation like Kazuha, where everyone said he's shit if you already have a C6 Sucrose, he ended up being one of the most used characters in Abyss, and people are now yelling at Hoyoverse to have a Kazuha rerun. Basically, both Kazuha and Sucrose are amazing, so maybe it'll be the same situation for Yelan and Xing Cho, or maybe not. Point is, we don't know, so waiting wouldn't really hurt. But even if you do have Xing Cho, Yelan will be a good Hydro Enabler whom you can still use on your second team on Abyss. So if you need someone who can apply Hydro consistently, go for Yelan. Or you have some kind of weird armpit fetish, then by all means, go for her. But for now, Yelan is at the bottom of the list till we playtest her. So basically, it's Zhao versus Ito. Now, there's no right or wrong answers, but I'll give you my perspective. Both are slightly similar, but also have very different abilities, obviously. Both are powerful DBS characters that relies on bursts. Ito is a superior free-to-play option because of the white blind claymore being craftable and you'll typically use him in a Geo team which you automatically have won, specifically the Geo Traveler. Not the best, but it's still counted as free. With Goro, Ito is even more amazing, but then you'll typically be locked into a 3 Geo team build. Zhao, on the other hand, is more flexible in team builds and isn't as restricted as Ito, but he isn't really free to play friendly in comparison because of the weapon choices. You'll also need a healer and maybe a shielder. Zhao also isn't the most pleasant character to use on phones, but that's just me and some other players also mentioned this. Our attack at Ito is superior than Zhao, because he has a very dedicated support team. Now, don't kill me. Like I said, very dedicated support team. I'm not saying Ito individually is better than Zhao, but because he has Goro and a Geo team built around him, Ito can outperform Zhao within a team. So if first off, you have Goro and either an Albedo or Zhongli, I would highly recommend Ito out of the three characters. Now, if you don't have Goro, Ito won't be at his full potential and you'll lose out on a lot of damage, but he can still be used. If you don't have a dedicated Geo team for Ito, then I would recommend Zhao, especially if you have a good spare. And now that he has the Vermilion dedicated artifacts for him, his damage is better, although it may not be worth wasting a lot of res and farming for it if you already have good substats on his old artifacts. So Zhao as an individual is better than Ito and will have better use against fighting mobs, which is a big thing in Genshin Impact because he is an AoE beast. I mean, he's also amazing fighting bosses and single targets as well, so not to discredit Zhao in that area. If Zhao gets a dedicated support team like Ito, 
whatever that may be or whenever, he'll be amazing. But as of right now, go for Ito if you have the right team. If you don't have the right team, Zhao will be better. And for Yelan, wait a couple days until players finish playtesting her. But the most important thing to remember is go for your favorite character. Genshin isn't really that hard, so just have fun with it. As always, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for future Genshin Impact videos. Good luck on your summons. Till next time, everyone.